up the family of Rick and Julie? Um, no. No. Okay. This, this is still now, can they yeah. see us? Yeah. Yes. Oh, can they hear us? Yes. Oh, then I've got to be quiet. <laughs> There's four people on. Hi, Becky and Tom. And we'll wait a minute or two and then we'll get started. Would have gone on earlier, but something, I don't know, tried to turn on the computer and Another pop-up came up and I couldn't get rid of it. So I think we're good to go. Hi, Luann, Fern. Kitty is down here, prime. She wants to be on. Hi, Barbara. Okay, well, I think we'll get started. Um, welcome to our Thanksgiving Eve service, and we will be sharing communion. So if you don't have communion, uh, wine, crackers, juice, bread, uh, now would be a good time to grab some. I do have a few uh, announcements. There are five angel names that are still uh, unaccounted for, no one took. And uh, we're, we're really trying to find people uh, to purchase gifts for them because in addition to the 40 that we have and have them on uh, the Sign Up Genius Sheet, a friend in Kutztown has 20 more that have not even been distributed. So uh, the link is on uh, the weekly email, or you can call Becky and you can uh, give her some money and she'll go buy them for you. This Sunday is the first Sunday of Advent and we will be confirming for students. And the youth Advent bags will be available for pickup on Sunday following worship, and then again between 2.15 and 2.30. At 3 o'clock, I'll be at Keystone Villa uh, doing a service for them. Hi, Corinne and Cindy. Good to have you with us. So let us begin our worship. People of God, come, let us worship. Let us offer to God our thanks and praise. Let us rejoice and be glad. The world is full of wonder and delight. God's creation echoes with joy. When life seems to become a nightmare, God is able to fill us with dreams of hope and courage. By God's grace, our seeds of sorrow can yield a bumper crop of thanksgiving. By God's love, our flood of tears becomes fountains of grace. God does wonderful things. We rejoice and give thanks. Let us confess our sins. Gracious God, when we forget to share, when we forget to give thanks, when we forget that you are with us, when we forget to care for others, so that all may have reason to celebrate and give thanks. Forgive us and help us to learn new ways of thanksgiving and thanks living. Just as the changing seasons of are part of God's eternal cycle of life, God knows that we grow and change. God forgives us for the things we have done or have forgotten to do. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. 
Our scripture reading this morning, <clears throat> this evening, is Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and give his courts praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever. And his faithfulness to all generations. As we begin our prayer, um, if feel free to type in names, first names of those or any concerns that you have for prayers. Let us pray using the words from Ted Loader. Glorious God, how curious and what a confession that we should set aside one day a year and call it Thanksgiving. I smile at the presumption and hope you smile too. But the truth is, holy friend, that my words can't carry all the praise I want them to, or that they should, no matter how many trips they make. So this day, all is praise and thanks for all my days. I breathe, and it is your breath that fills me. I look, and it is your light by which I see. I move, and it is your energy moving me. I listen, and even the stones speak of you. I touch, and you are between finger and skin. I think, and the thoughts are but sparks from the fire of your truth. I pause to praise and thank you. God, this evening we pray that you be with all those who are alone tomorrow. We pray for all those who are grieving the loss of a loved one because we know it is so much harder on holidays. We pray for people who are traveling and for those who are unable to travel. We pray for families who are gathering together, that even those who have vast differences on issues can find a way to gather and be in peace, find commonality, and enjoy each other's company. We pray for this country and the world as we go through these crazy times and remind us again and again that no matter what chaos is happening, you, God, are always with us. We ask that you surround those listed and those concerns on our hearts with your light and healing love. And we pray this all in the name of Jesus, who taught us to pray, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us celebrate communion together. We gather to be fed at your gracious table, wherever that table may be. Always active, ever watchful, you kept your promise to the people Israel. You made a way when there was no way. You sent rain for renewal of the land and brought forth abundant produce from the earth. You promised to care for our every need 
and urge us not to be afraid, but to trust in your goodness for all the world. We thank you, God, that you have made this wonderful world, the sun and the stars, the grain and the grapes, all of the amazing creatures and each one of us. Our hearts are filled with awe and praise. We, and we especially give thanks that you sent your child Jesus into the world to live your love and bring us back to you again. Tonight we remember how Jesus sat at a table with his followers, those he knew would betray him, those he knew that would deny them. But still he sat with them and he shared a meal in a time of fellowship. And that night he took the bread, he blessed it and he gave thanks and he broke it. And he said, this is my body given for you and for many. And that same night, as they were finishing their meal, he took the cup and he poured it out, saying this, this is the cup of the new covenant given to you through my blood. Do this whenever you are together. The meal is ready. Now grant us your spirit move over these gifts. Here at this table and at every table before you. Through the faithful act, join us more deeply to you, to your people, here and afar, and to your will being done all over the world. Amen. This is the body of Christ given for you and for many, bread from heaven. Take and eat. This is the blood of Christ, a cup of blessing given to us. Take and drink. And for those who are, do not commune, may God bless you and keep you and be with you always. Amen. Let us pray. God of all creation, we give you thanks for bringing us to your table. We give you thanks for the beautiful colors of autumn and the cycle of the changing seasons. We give you thanks for the earth's harvest that feeds our bodies and for your love which feeds our spirits. Help us to care for one another and for all creation, for by our caring, we show our thanks for all that you have given us. Amen. Amen. And now, may we embody our thanks with extravagant generosity. May we offer our lives to you in acts of compassion for one another. May we walk gently upon the earth, ever mindful of your gifts of breath, of love, of life itself. And now, have a blessed Thanksgiving. Remember, no matter what, there is always something to be thankful for. So remember to give thanks tomorrow and have a great Thanksgiving. Amen. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. <laughs>